So let me get this straight. Don Lemon was fired for defending black people. Oh my goodness. So if you haven't heard, uh, Don Lemon has been fired from CNN. That's correct, 17 years down the drain. According to recent uh, reports and articles, the tipping point for him being fired was this uh, interview with Vivek Bababoo, whatever his name is. The dude, you know, the dude that looks like an Indian uh, Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> that, that guy, that clown, that anti-black buffoon immigrant. He had an interview with Don Lemon. Now, I watched this interview and it's crazy to see how the spin uh, from, from many people on YouTube and whatnot, trying to say, oh, Don Lemon was destroyed by Vivek. Oh, he got blasted, all that. I'm like, there's no way in God's green earth you could, you could objectively look at this interview and say that Don Lemon got destroyed by this Jimmy Neutron clown. There's no way, unless you are a baboon, all right? Unless you are trying to placate and pander to the white conservative ignorant audience. That's the only way. Now, I'm no fan of CNN whatsoever. I think they're clowns. However, I also think Fox News is very much the same clowns. Luckily, Tucker Carlson is gone, but we'll get a video on that momentarily. We get into this interview. Now, this man, Baba Booey, okay, Jimmy Neutron, for, uh, I'm just gonna call him Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron <laughs> is, is, is in the interview with, uh, with uh, uh, Don Lemon and this other white chick. And Don Lemon immediately, bam, goes out of the gate and asks him about the lawsuit. You know, the biggest lawsuit uh, of a news station uh, uh, happening with, with Fox News, the settlement. And this Jimmy Neutron politician, just a, just a real weaselly guy, uh, tries to say, well, you know what, blah, 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 and tries to deflect. He says, well, you know, it's the nature of the business. You know, CNN's been sued, yada, yada, yada. Glad to be what here. What do you make of this uh, decision to settle this case? I mean, it seems, strikes me as a cost of doing business. If you're going to be a news network, I think it's happened to CNN. I think it's happened to a lot of news networks. Now, that is true. CNN has been sued. And when confronted with that, you know, the girl takes a, a sip of her drink, just... Mm, I got nothing there. That has it's not happened to, to CNN. That has not happened to CNN. This is never been sued for defamation. Never been, never not, been actually this settled. This is the largest. Yeah, it's, it's definitely in large, and, and Fox appears to have the largest viewership and the market capitalization. So that's not how you go about it. What we need to go about is context. CNN was sued for foolishness. What CNN was sued for was running with the story without corroborating any of it. Okay, calling this guy, hey, a white supremacist, all of this, and you know nothing about what transpired. That is, that is just, that, that's horrible. That's the worst case. Actually, I won't say that's the worst case, but that's pretty up there with like, uh, I, I don't know, just POS. Now, when it comes to Fox News, we have it in a completely different thing. Fox News knew what they were saying was inaccurate. They knew they were spreading disinformation in regards to the election being stolen, in regards to the Dominion system ch changing votes, in regards to upholding any type of stop the steal narrative. They knew what they were saying. And you see this in the settlement when it comes to the text with Tucker Carlson and a lot of them, okay, Sean Hannity. They knew what they were doing was wrong. That's why they didn't want to go uh, any further with the lawsuit because it would have cost them way more. So they settled. So that's night and day. I would say Fox News is worse because they knew what they were doing. CNN is just as bad because they didn't know what they were doing, but it fit into their narrative of, oh, look, MAGA guy, white supremacy, let's run it. Fools, they're both clowns. We move forward, he goes on and says some of the craziest stuff out there. So he, he's confronted about this comment about, hey, uh, Democrats wanna put you back in chains. He weasels his way around into trying creating a similarity between that and Democrats presently. I don't know how, but he talks about Lyndon Johnson and the one man rule and how it's hurt the black community. But then you wanna know what happened? Southern states passed anti-gun laws that stopped black people from owning guns. The Democrat party then as and now wanted to put them back in chains. Who and what were you referring to? I was referring to Joe Biden and his expression of wanting to put them back in chains dating back to Lyndon Johnson. I think Lyndon Johnson's so-called great society was one of the greatest misnomers in American political history, where even back then in the 1960s, 70 percent plus of black kids were born into two parent homes. Today, that number is less than 30 percent in the opposite direction. 
the very policies that we implemented in this country in the name of helping black Americans have actually been disastrous for black Americans and all Americans. And I think so, that that's something that we need to wake up to. Any- Miss me with this nonsense. I'm so sick and tired of white ignorance and those little brown, brown shields that they send out to do their dirty work using these horrible talking points, okay? Have me come on. Have me replace Don Lemon. I'll be more than happy to, to, to ether a goofball like this Vivek Neutron guy, okay? With ease. Because here's the thing. It was bipartisan. The ADC program, all right, that was in the bill of the Social Security Act, which was by freaking partisan. Please stop putting your inaction on the Democrats. That is what Republicans, these white ignorants, love to do time and time and time again. They want to say, oh, look at the Democrat cities. They're run by Democrats. Look at the crime. Okay, are any of you white Republicans or any of you guys going to sponsor a candidate to run against the Democrats in these liberal cities? No. Then shut up. Be quiet. Silencio, por favor. Cayete. That's what you need to do. Because they love constantly talking about berating Chicago. Look at Chicago. Look what's going on in Chicago. Look at the black on black crowd there. Okay, I hear you. Are any of you white Republicans? Is Ronna McDonald, whatever her name is of the RNC, is she going to give any, uh, uh, any, any funding or fundraising or anything to combat the liberal uh, stranglehold in Chicago or whatever? Are you? You're going to run any candidates or actually going to back them, put some serious money behind them? No? Then be quiet, okay? I'm tired of them constantly wanting to cherry pick uh, uh, they're in action because that's all it does. It highlights they're in action. Constantly want to talk about why don't black people do this? Why don't black people? And you don't do anything in regards to black outreach. You do nothing. You think putting up a Kundis Owens, right, is a representation of what white people want for black people. And I, I mean white people, I mean the white ignorance within the Republican Party. That's what they want for black people. It's kind of like back in the day when they gave you the Bible and they ripped out everything else that contradicted what they wanted for the slave, that is what is happening in modern time. We are having a, 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 a minstrel show in this political arena, and it's only for black people. No other group is treated like this, none. And this goes back, it's emblematic to how this country has treated us since we got here. Moving forward, this is where it, it got me. I fell out of my chair. He says some of the most idiotic simplistic, imbecilic thing I've ever heard, which is the the white ignorant talking point of the Civil War was fought for black people. You're making people think that the Civil War was fought for black people, only for black people to get guns and for black people to have... The Civil War was fought for black people in this country to get freedoms, a noble mission. And I think that... What on God's green earth are you smoking, fam? Huh? What on God's green earth are you smoking? You might as well just go back to India and, and read up on, on your history, okay? Because I would never, as far as tell you, an Indian man, all right, about India's history and bastardize it as much as you are doing black American history, which is American history. I would never do that. I wouldn't have the gall to. But you come here from your third world POS place, come over here and then have the audacity to try and try and rewrite black American history, had the audacity to promote and and bolster white, ignorant, anti-black talking points such as the Civil War was fought for black people? If you don't miss me with this nonsense, Abraham Lincoln didn't even agree with you. He didn't give a damn about any black person, okay? The war was fought for the union. He said whether we freed the slaves or didn't free the slaves, I, if I could do it with preserving the union, I would. When it came to black people and the stance on black people, he didn't think as far as black people were equal as white people. Miss me with this word visionist whitewash history, okay? And what makes it even more vile, what makes it even more nefarious is that these white ignorance are so cowardice that they don't put a white face saying this bull crap. They'll put a brown face. They'll put a black face. They'll put a, 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 a Latino face in some cases. They will do it. They will do it by their, their, their little talking heads, by their puppets. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting and it's once again a sign of the the lineage of evil you guys have. And that's the only way that this clown can make it in this political arena. This is the only way. Regurgitating 
anti-black talking points in order to placate his white ignorant base of the Republican Party. All I'm saying is keep black people's names out of your mouth, Vivek Babubi, okay? Your Jimmy Neutron bootleg lookalike. Get our name and our history out of your mouth, fam. Because what you are saying is dis beyond disrespectful. Beyond disrespectful. And Don Lemon checks him. He checks him and says, hey, the, this was Civil War wasn't fought for any black people to have guns? What are you talking about, right? The whole point of having even having the Civil Rights Act. They were not secured their freedoms after the Civil War. That is not, you're, you are discounting uh, uh, Reconstruction, you're discounting a whole host of things that happened after the Civil War when it comes to African Americans, including the whole reason that the Civil Rights Movement happened is because black people did not secure their freedoms after the Civil War, and, and that things turned around. People would tried to change the freedoms that were supposed to happen And you know how they the got Civil it? War they got their Second Amendment rights. And and Don Lemon goes and says, hey, we're not privy to all these rights that you keep talking about. Now, here's the thing. Vivek then says, I think you're doing a disservice to black Americans and blah, 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 by saying that. And he tries to mix it up, completely reframes what Don Lemon is saying. Just a typical political, just hack. Just, just some of the, just scum of the earth. That is what this man is, okay? This Jimmy Neutron, just POS, okay? Because what Don Lemon is saying, some actual facts. Just because it's on paper doesn't mean you are privy to it. Anyone who's ever been in court knows this. That just because you cite the Declaration of Independence or you cite whatever, uh, 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 the Constitution, that doesn't mean you're privy to it. You have to have money to have these rights. Because the only way you can have these rights is you can defend them. And it's not going to be with your Second Amendment. It's going to be in court. We already saw when it came to the COVID situation, your Second Amendment went out the water. Okay, went, went, went out the window, excuse me. All these mofos talking about, oh, I'm a patriot, I'm a patriot. These mofos police shut all your businesses down. You guys were sitting on your thumbs asking daddy government for your PPP loans. Miss me with this nonsense. I'm sick and tired of you fake patriots, you LARPing clowns. It's so infuriating to hear this man say just absolute horse shite. Absolute. And to see people applaud him. It's, it makes you think, that it's complete twilight zone. Complete twilight zone. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe, look at, look at, Vivek was talking truth, okay? He was talking truth about the black America, okay? You got the single parent household, all right? That's a big problem. Or if you believe, listen, I'm sick and tired of them using outdated stats combined and, and strangled with freaking inappropriate context. To, to pass off this anti-black agenda to placate the white ignorance of the base. Can we get real for a change, huh? Can we? These mofos are more willing to lose elections than to even do any type of outreach to black Americans. That's wild to me. That shows a hatred. That shows a lineage of evil, as I've said. Now, if you happen to disagree with this video, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement days, which you won't because you're probably a coward. Nevertheless, disagreement days are typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. You call in, we duke it out. Either or, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please free, uh, please feel free, excuse me, to, to like, comment, subscribe, all oh, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. And this is the only way that this clown can make it in this political arena. This is the only way.